Hello, hey, Taurus. I have a new deck. It is the Starman Tarot deck. Inspired by, by the artwork created for David Bowie. This dude actually did artwork for David Bowie. Who created this deck. So I'm like, ooh, and I love it so far. It's very, very talkative. It's very vibrant with its energy. I can read it pretty well. It's got little alien glyphs on the back. And it's just like, ooh, just very nice David Bowie vibes. Fun fact, David Bowie was actually Capricorn. He's actually supposed to be my future ex-husband number 13. I told my husband this when I got the deck. First he said, David Bowie, like he was insulted. And then like, I told him he was my future ex-husband number 13. And he was just like, wait, you have 12 more motherfuckers after me? <laughs> and I was just like, well, yeah, I gotta have him lined up, man. <laughs> Like, I know the man I would pick. But, that's just me. And these are really hard for me to shuffle, like, the prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Then with um, the judgment call, ooh, I got quite a few in that shuffle. Yes. So with the judgment card, we have the hanged man. Someone's come to a decision in regards to a situation they've been kind of hanging around with or hanging on to or just like, like he's not uncomfortable in his position, right? The hanged man. These are two major arcanas together. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> just saying. Um, this is the hanged man, and like he's hanging around drinking from this tree. It looks very uncomfortable, but he doesn't seem that bothered. But I think someone's coming to a decision about this. Someone's come to a good idea, bad idea maybe, with this judgment. Like someone's going to declare it out. Someone's going to bear that, right? Then we have the sacred clown, or the fool in reverse, over here. Where what someone's wanting is hesitation to not explode in what it is that makes them on the inside. Like that glow behind them with like the Donnie Darko thing, that might be a shadow of themselves. A shadow of um, what they don't want to do. Like over here is the fool when it comes to confessions. Yeah. But over here they want to not do that because they're really indecisive. Queen of Swords, possibly Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if you don't have that in you, but it's like, someone's hanging around because they're being really indecisive and they want to bite people's heads off who mention it. Like here, like, you feel like you want to just open up and express how you want to like, take off, but like over here in your wants is like, Someone doesn't want to open their mouth about it. And then what's going against you? The Queen of Swords upright. Wow. Okay. So over here she's indecisive and biting people's heads off. But what's going against you is being decisive and deciding whose heads you should rightfully cut off. When it comes to a King of Wands. Sagittarius Leo Aries. I feel like someone... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Taurus, is someone waiting for a confession to come so they have a reason to leave? And yet, they're hesitating with the... Like, someone's... Okay. Down here, someone knows what to do with this guy. But up here, someone's putting it off. And over here, someone's, like, got a bunch of shit they gotta let go and just shoot off of the mouth, you know? Like, Prince of Swords right here, right? Someone wants to talk, but they're not coming in to talk, but they're moving ahead. They're coming to full speed to say something. But I don't know if it's a confession or an apology. Or just expressing something they've carried around for so long, you know? But this person right here does not want to make a decision. Even though they know that that decision is coming upon this guy, and he's going in this, like... Choices, choices. Like, I haven't gotten any twos, but it's like there are choices all over the place. Like, a lot of choices. What's this for? Cups in the fear. This is somebody who is stagnant, stuck in their thoughts about something like. Not because their cups are knocked over, but because it's something that's plagued them enough to forget that those cups are there and can be refilled in the first place. Oh yeah, both. Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. If someone is afraid to go get what they want? Could also be with this person too. This person could be plagued by the same fire sign right here. Or this could be a couple. Right? Like, because, you know, possibly masculine, feminine. Could be a couple. This is a pair. Um, but there's definitely, like, this queen of swords who keeps popping back up, too. Like, if I had a third deck, she'd probably pop up there, too. Ho. <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, someone is definitely, um... Plagued by someone just I don't want to call her impulsive but it's like whenever she wants what she wants she goes for it and she doesn't think about it 
Like, she's very elegant. She stands her own ground. She's regal. She worries a lot about how she appears. She keeps herself composed and beautiful because ain't no bitch classier than me. You know, that's like Queen of Wands right there. It's about, like, I totally think Queen of Wands is Sagittarius. Because those women are so regal in their, like, attitudes and expect people to treat them like queens, like they deserve to be, right? Doesn't help that I have Sagittarius rising, but, you know, that's beside the point. But that's, like, the energy. It's, like, she's giving that vibe, like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm standing here and looking pretty. But there is a worry. Like, so, like it's not, like... It's not as much missed opportunity. It's like, look, these two cuts are knocked over. These two are just getting poured on his head. Like, going around with your beliefs, your ideals, your heart, your thoughts, your emotions, the people that have come to influence you. Just going over all of these things when dealing with a Queen of Wands person. And finally, the catalyst and the finale of this all is someone feeling as though they've lost a part of themselves I feel like like that's supposed to be the bird but the bird is like just a bat on a string <laughs> but it's like this person is enchanting all these pentacles to get somewhere but like at this point it's just almost fruitless and it's a seven of cups right now there might be some emotional confusion or even distractions that's keeping you in this nine of pentacle energy um, you should be sitting there reveling in what it is you have, but you are distracted, possibly, by, uh, some emotional stuff, I feel like. Sanding theme, please. The world. You see that? The world. The completion of a cycle. That someone wants to come in and say, talk about it. Someone wants to be like, hey, this is over. I want to come out and say this, right? Very interesting spread, Taurus. Like, hmm. Or people who are dealing with Taurus. Could be any of you, really. Whoever this resonates with. But, uh, yeah, like. It is like someone is burdened by knowing they have to move forward and they don't want to move forward and they're being really indecisive about it. Even though they already have a, uh, they've already made a judgment call when it comes to just hanging in, around this situation. This is crossroads. This is like surrender. Like, the hangman is about surrendering what it is that, like, makes you you in order to transform into something else. You know, because after this card comes death, and death is about transformation. Um, the ending of the old to begin with the new. You're just at the crossroads right now with the hanged man right in this position. So. Isn't hangman number 9 and 9 11? Or 12, I mean? I don't know. It really doesn't fucking matter. In this deck, it's like freaking 12 right and right after the come being at this crossroads there has to be a decision to be made and you know this as the queen of swords and that's what's going against what you're really wanting which is not to start anything new not to make a decision not to go off on people and you're still going off on people like you know cutting people down unrighteously at that like being confused about who is and is not for your benefit like you're not sure who there might be somebody to turn to You know, it's just some of that shit, right? There's a lot of confusion here because I feel like someone doesn't know or feels... <sighs> I feel like their cups got poured out with knowledge. Like, look at all this stuff that constitutes their knowledge being poured onto them. They're thinking, this is calling them to think back and like their emotions are just like drained when it comes to this person. And they're kind of losing themselves and not knowing what to do. Which if you're worried about whether or not you should be with somebody, 
don't. Because if you're worried about it, you're probably more worried about um, being alone and how you're going to function alone than you are being with the other person. Like, you know, if, you, if you have to struggle with the decision on whether or not you should leave them, just go ahead and fucking leave them. Because it's going to save you a lot more time later on when you come to this like idea again. I'm just putting that out there. You take that or leave it. That's just my personal opinion. But the minute you start questioning whether you should be with a person or not, based on just whether you can take care of yourself without them, go ahead and leave as soon as you get a chance. Because, like, the long, like, it could be financial reasons. It could be emotional. It doesn't matter. Whatever attachment is not worth you letting your mind and your heart just be poured out only for you to realize that this is kind of a lie. Like, I feel like this is some sort of lie. And someone's ruminating over it with this fire sign right here, right? We got the, And right here, there is this call for balance with the Six of Pentacles. Some investment in this, and he's blowing in air, so it's like also air too. There's communication that has to be invested into. There has to be some balance brought into the situation. And I believe someone's aware of this. But they're avoiding it, even though they know they need to make a decision with the Two of Swords. This is head over heart, like I was saying before. Like, let shit go. They're not good for you. <laughs> screw this person who might not be good for you. Or screw the scenario in which there might not be anything that's good for you. I know that, like, you want to be somewhat diplomatic with this fire sign, possibly, since he's upright. But I don't know if they're going to pay attention to you with the queen over here just harping away, doing whatever the fuck she does, right? That's all I'm saying. Might not be the best idea. Oh, final card. Queen of Cups. All these fucking turtles, like, giving her, like, steps to lay on so she can just keep on dancing because she's having a good time. Like a Disney movie, right? Her hair might also be made of, like, a stingray. I'm not sure, but she's still having a good time. Anyway, look at these creatures all coming to help her. I, I mean, it's like, gather your emotions and let it help, let it guide you. You know, like, the Queen of Cups is an emotional person. Could be Scorpio, Sag Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, right? But this also could be somebody needing to the body, the emotion of, a. Uh, Feeling it out. Like, the Queen of Cups isn't... A, she she is logical via emotion. She reaches decisions based on emotions. But she controls it. That's something I think that, like, needs to come into consideration. Possibly. And it's up for you to decide. And whether or not it resonates with you. But that is the reading for Taurus for January to February this year. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.